channel my name is Favor. if this is your first time here thank you so much for coming here today please click the subscribe button so you can join the farm also hit the notification bell down below so you know when next I post the video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back here whenever I post new videos so guys in today's video I'm just gonna be showing you guys a hack I actually just came out here to welcome you to today's video so let's jump right into the video I love to bake but I feel like I can also be a perfectionist sometimes. I really don't like when I'm making cupcakes and you know there are smudges or spills on the cake pan itself. So I discovered this method or hack and I just decided to share it with you guys. So the first thing or the most important thing you'll be needing for this hack is a piping bag. This is the piping bag that I have at home so I'm just going to be using this. The next thing that you need is your cake pan or baking pan. I have two here, so I'm just going to be using these two. I have a bowl as well because you need to mix or you need something to do the mixture. For the purpose of this recipe or this um, video, I'm going to be using a cake mix. I have another video on how I actually bake my cake from scratch, so that's going to be coming up. But for this video, I'm just going to be using a cake mix because that's not the point of this video. Also, you need your um, baking cups because you need to put that on your pan. Some people prefer to put it directly on the pan and that's totally okay. I don't, so I'm going to be using that. Also, the cake mix recipe requires three eggs, which I have here. And it also requires some milk and some oil. I already measured out the quantity of oil that we need in this bowl. So yeah, I would just measure my oil and add it when I get to that stage, okay? So this is my piping bag again. I'm just going to take out one from the pack. So this is what your piping bag should look like. So at this stage, I'm just opening the pack of the cake mix and pouring it into the bowl. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is to break my eggs and also measure the milk because I mentioned that I didn't measure it before. So I'm just going to do all of that now. So at this stage, I just made a little hole in the middle before I added the liquid ingredients into it. I am not sure if it makes any difference, but like I said, I like to bake and I like to play around with recipes. So I just enjoy making a hole in the middle just for fun. If you're a chef, you know, if you're a pro when it comes to baking and you feel like it makes a difference, please can you drop that in the comment section down below. Again, on this channel, we are learning, okay? So I'm learning from you guys and you guys are learning from me. The next thing that I did after adding the ingredients was to mix. So if you have a standard cake mixer or if you have a hand mixer, you can use whatever you have. It's going to work either ways. I thought I could use my hand for this recipe, which is why you will see me use my hand and not use a mixer. So yeah, just mix until you feel like you've mixed in all the ingredients properly. The next thing that I did after mixing was to put the baking cups on the or in the cupcake pan. I don't like to put my cupcake mix directly into the pan because I just feel it doesn't give it a very nice and cute look, okay? This is just my preference. If you prefer to put it directly in the pan, it's up to you. That you want to do is to pour your cake mix into the piping bag you might need help for this but if you don't have anyone at home to help you out you can just use like a measuring cup or a smaller bowl to help you scoop the cake mix into the bag so i decided to show you guys both ways at this point someone is actually helping me to pour the cake mix into the piping bag of course you need extra hands because you can clearly see that i have my two hands holding the piping bag so now you have an idea of what it should look like if you actually do get help. I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself. So at this stage, I just used a measuring cup because that's what I had and that's what I found very convenient. So I just used it to scoop the mix into the piping bag. You can take your time at this stage like <laughs> it's your cake, okay? Like don't rush, just take your time, calm down. So this is what we have so far. I'm just gonna cut this part off a little bit and then start inserting my cake mix into my baking pan. 
so you want to be careful when actually cutting it because it could start pouring out if you don't do it well like you can see i held it a bit that way it prevents it from actually pouring out so yeah this is the part that we've all been waiting for so i'm just squeezing the piping bag so that the cake mix can come out and i'm just gonna do that till the baking pan is full and then the next thing that i will do is to put the cupcakes in the oven to bake I just thought it was so cool to do it this way rather than having to use a spoon to actually scoop the cupcake mix into the cups because at the end of the day a lot of times I end up having you know the mix all over the baking pan and I just didn't like that. So guys as you can see there's nothing on the baking pan and that's what we were going for. I'm just going to put them in the oven now. So guys, this is what we have. It is ready to be eaten, okay? <laughs> so guys, that's how I make the cupcakes and that's how I do it without you know, the whole place getting messed up or getting messy. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. You can also share with your family and friends. If you still haven't subscribed, please don't forget to do so. And I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye!